Welcome to this demonstration of leveraging the Redwood Starter application with Oracle Visual Builder. My name is Shai Schmelzer. In this demonstration, we'll show you how to create a new Visual Builder application based on the Redwood Starter template, how you can then leverage page templates to create pages that look and behave like a Redwood application, how you can use and set properties for composite components in your application, and how to work with patterns, the variables, and the actions that they Offer. In Visual Builder, when you create a new application now, you can switch the template to be the Redwood te Starter template, which is available over here. Once you choose this, we'll configure your application to have the Redwood components installed in there. You'll notice that we created a flow with a default page in it called Main Start. And this is a page where you can start designing your application. You can also decide to uh, eliminate this page and recreate uh, a new page instead of it. If you go into the component palette, you'll notice that your components need a little update. So just go over to the update and click update all to get the latest version of the components that is available in your exchange. Once you do that, they would appear in your page designer under the component palette. To be able to show you a demonstration here, we're going to create a few business objects based out of an Excel spreadsheet. So just create a bunch of uh, department employees type of scenario. And we're gonna create a little application that works with the employees. So we'll start again with our main start page that we got by default. And we're just going to delete the current uh, component that we have on the page. So we can start with an empty page. Now Redwood comes with a bunch of templates. Uh, we're going to use the welcome template as the starting page for our application. Once you bring a template into the page under the all tab, you will see a bunch of properties that you can set for this template, including, for example, the background color, the title for the page, and a bunch of other properties of the template. You can read about those properties if you look at the documentation for this component in the component exchange. So let's add a little description over here, and we can also include a pointer to a foreground image that we're going to use here, like that. Now the template itself has two sections um, into which you can drop um, items. We're gonna use a simple input text component that will drop into the um, search slot of the template, which is up here. And we're gonna bind this into a new variable. So again, with the templates, you're free to use all the regular Oracle Jet components in there. They would match the look and feel as needed. Now let's bring our employees into the page. We're going to drag and drop it into the page to create um, a list inside the default area of the template. So that's the main area below the colored banner. So we'll drop it as a list, choose the layout, choose the specific fields we want to show in this list. Um, we can switch how they're going to be shown by default and we can also add a filter. So let's hook up a filter that would allow us to look for specific employees by name using the variable we created in the search area up there. All right, so we got the little list. Now this doesn't look very impressive um, and this is another place where you can use Redwood components. So beyond page level template, there are a bunch of other components. For example, there are composite components such as uh, various types of cards. So let's remove the current fields that we have in the list. And instead we'll use an object card, which is one of the Redwood components that we can bring in here. We'll also set the list to be based on a card view, which gives us this type of look and feel. Now again, like the template, the card object has a bunch of properties that you can set. For example, a card can have an image. So let's map the image to the image or the picture of the employee. And we get it to display in the right location on the card. The card also has a place for the header title, so we can add, for example, a pointer to the name of the employee. 
Another thing that you can add for a card is a primary action. So that's um, what's going to be displayed on the card as an action on the specific object. So let's provide information about this specific action. We're going to use a simple info um, action over here. You can also decide how is this going to be displayed, where it's going to be enabled or disabled, also what type of button or potentially link we're going to use here, various things that you can set for our card. So now we have a little info button, which will allow us to press and get information about this specific person. We can also choose to highlight the footer area to have this type of layout with two different colors on each card. And again, this is a default look and feel for the Oracle Redwood application. Now the composite components also has built-in events. So one of the events is the primary action. We just mapped the info button to be our primary action. So now we're going to define what's going to happen when we click on it. There's a bunch of properties that we get as variables in here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to navigate to a page where we can get more information about each one of those employees. So let's create this page and go to this page to design a completely new page in our application. This time we're going to choose another template for our page. We're going to choose the horizontal uh, template pattern. And note that we're bringing in a pattern. When you bring in a pattern, it's not just the look and feel, it's also a bunch of variables and actions that have been created for you already and event listeners. One of those properties can be input variables. For example, we have here the uh, identity of the specific row that we're editing. Some of the variables control, for example, the heading for our uh, template. So we're going to modify those variables to have the specific headings we want in each area. And again, some of those variables are also marked as input variables that we can pass to this page when we call it. Okay. So here's our page right now with the new titles that we have. Let's bring in some data. Again, we'll use the same information about the employees. We'll drop it into the first uh, folder area, area here, folder panel. And we're going to select the fields we want to show. We're going to select more than just the field for this area. We're going to select all the fields that we want to show on this page. Um, and again, you can customize those fields if you need to. We need to specify which employee we're passing and we want to see as a variable here. So we're using the page level variable as something we're passing in. Let's set a value for it for this page right now so we can see some values in the page. Now we are again free to modify and work with our page just like you would work with any other Visual Builder page. For example, we can add an avatar component up here, uh, change maybe the background color, um, change the size, and then hook up this avatar to get the data from the specific employee details, so from the employee picture. Now that we have this, let's go over to the second a fold out panel and we're going to insert in here another form so we'll just add a layout for a panel form form layout here and then we can take some of the fields and drag and drop them over to that form now we don't want to actually be able to update those fields so we can change the form to be a read only form which will update all the fields in it. All right, so here's our second page. So we can now go back to the first page that we were on and let's look at our action chain where we did the navigate and you would see that now we have a bunch of parameters to this page that we can pass in. Um, so for example, we want to pass in the uh, parent page and the row index. So the row index would be the key of the employee that we actually selected. The parent page is the page we are currently on, which is called main start. This would allow us to navigate back um, to this page when we need to. Another thing we can control is whether to show a um, bidirectional navigation button at the top right of the page. And that's basically our application. We can hit run. We'll see our application with a list of employees, which we can filter. 
for example, all the employees that have S in their name. Then we can choose a specific employee, click the info button, which will navigate us to the second page. We can see the information here in a fold out layout and clicking on the parent page will take us back into our starting 